All right, I think we are live. Hey, Ro everybody. Roland is totally freaked out by it. But get used to it, kid. This is uh, the future. Um, hi, Arlie and Morgan and Roland from Ladyfingers here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're back. We're going to be doing some hand lettering today. Just thought I would. Uh, Does that mean to yell? Oh. You're doing I, that thing that old people do? <laughs> <laughs> Where they like shout into the phone? Can you hear me? Am I loud enough? My oh. mom does the same thing. It drives me nuts. Okay. She so, might be watching. Be yeah. Hi, mom. Uh, hi. hi. <laughs> so, uh, we are here in our home uh, pop up office, I guess. It wasn't here a couple days ago. It's here now. We uh, have a couple babies with us. Here's one of them. This is Roland. And our other twin is Frankie. Say hi, Frankie. This is Francis. Frankie Rose. Yeah, she's happy to be here. We have a cat. Where's Meatball? Oh, sorry, I just stepped on him. Oops. Meatball's here. Yep. And our. Everybody's getting for, signed up, signed on. Yep, we have a hole in our ceiling because we had a flood last week, the same day we uh, closed our shop, which is very exciting. Our washing machine overflowed and uh, had to rip the ceiling out, so we're dealing with that right now, <laughs> in addition to a couple of other things. Um, but it's all, it's, it's fine now. Yeah, it feels it's all like, dried out. I feel like small beans compared to uh, everything else that's happening in this world. Um, so let's see. Um, I saw that a bunch of people downloaded the guide for hand lettering, which is the lined sheet um, from our website. Under the free section, there's free, a free, free download. Downloads, yep. Um, and you should be able to print that out if you have a printer at home. Mm -hmm. Um, or if you're working on an iPad or something like that, um, you can download that for free. So check that out, um, and you can use it and print it as many times as you need. Um, someone else asked yesterday if it was possible just to buy our little hand lettering guidebook. So Arlie and I haven't yet had a chance to talk about that, um, but maybe we'll do like a paid download of that. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Um, for people who like don't need stuff in the mail and stuff you know yeah you could just look at it online it's cheaper to produce we don't have to ship it we don't right have to go to the it studio. can be more affordable for everybody what do you guys think so, oh hold on a second can you <laughs> lady fingers phone's ringing right now we have our from phone michigan. here um somebody from michigan Hello, hold lady on fingers letter press. this is arlie how can i help you yes i don't know who it is yeah, we uh, had to shut down the shop because of the coronavirus, unfortunately, but we are still working. We're still open. Uh, <laughs> we just don't have our storefront open right at the moment. Okay, great. Um, I would love to schedule a time to talk with you about that. I'm actually doing a live Instagram. Thing Hold on, everybody. Thanks um, for your patience. Can I take down your name and information, and I will get back to you? Great. You can call our phone. Um, we'll answer it. Um, um, we're probably going to turn it on silent for the okay. rest of the live um, so that it doesn't happen again. But if you need something, we're here. We can talk on the phone <laughs> at our house. Um, Someone asked, what did we do at our storefront? Um, we sell all the goods that we manufacture there. And then we also sell paper goods and stationery from yeah, hundreds of other folks um, that we know from the industry. We manufacture all our cards at our storefront on site. And then we also have gifts and candles and we teach workshops there when we teach them in person. Um, and we ship to 800 other stores our products out of our storefront. So. Um, the storefront's closed right now. We are shipping. That person wanted to talk. Yeah, wedding invitations. We still do wedding invitations if you guys uh, are still, still getting, getting married. married. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's <laughs> still getting married, but the question of when. Yeah. Um, we're working with a lot of folks on problem solving that. But let's yeah. get to the hand lettering. Yeah. Um, looks like lots of people are joining. This is wonderful. Do you want to talk at all about yesterday or what you want to cover today? Before? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yesterday, I, and for those of you who came yesterday, I really appreciate all of your patience and um, just understanding as we were getting used to this. I've never done Instagram Live before, and uh, teaching a online class is a little bit different than um, the regular classes I would teach because um, I'm trying to spread this out across 
uh, 26 days. So um, <laughs> a little bit of a learning curve for me here too. Um, so my intention is to do one letter a day and um, each letter would we would go through uh, all the different styles, um, the three main styles of lettering. So it would be a serif, a sans serif, and a uh, script uh, lettering style. Um, yesterday we got through um, the serif style for uh, capital A and lowercase a. Didn't get to sans serif, didn't get to script at all. Um, uh, so I'm gonna try to pick up on those today and hopefully get through the letter B. Um, we have about 50 minutes left in this broadcast, so hopefully I'll be able to get through some of that. Um, if people missed yesterday, is there a way they can go back oh, and yes. watch like, the Oh, yes. Good intro? question. Yeah, so Morgan just asked if, if people missed anything from yesterday, uh, you are welcome to go back into our stories and look at that. I think the, Sorry. I think the stories only last 24 hours. So they may be gone by now, or? But we're gonna upload it to IGTV. We are trying to figure this out, how to thread everything back together. Uh, we have them all, we're gonna be downloading them all. Um, hold on one second. We're gonna be downloading them all and will be available to be watched again. Just have some patience with us as we figure out how we're exactly gonna do that. Are you okay now, Franks? I'm gonna yeah? Put Rolly in the pouch. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah. You gonna hang out while I do my class? Do you guys even want to see any hand lettering? Or you just want to see babies. I, th I think uh, maybe we should just have baby cam. I don't know. It might be easier. Um, someone just asked, is there a way you can put them in the highlight? That is our intention. That's our goal. If any of you guys have a uh, um, understanding or knowledge of how to take something from live Instagram to a story to a highlight, send me a message. I'd love to uh, learn more about that. Um, but from what I understand now, I just have to download it and we'll just um, distribute it later. All right, so what I'm gonna try to do here, <laughs> yes, we have three month old twins, a toddler and a business, and we are gonna be doing hand lettering. Oh yeah, we're gonna do it, it's gonna be awesome gonna rule. Okay. My baby has a bald spot. Don't judge me. Okay. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Alrighty. So yesterday, this is our, uh, this was our class from yesterday, where we picked off. Um, I'm gonna kind of start fresh. Uh, I'm drawing uh, using an iPad, uh, iPad Pro and a pencil, and using the sidecar to enable me to mirror my uh, screen over here. Um, I wonder if there's a way I can get a little bit closer so you guys can see better. Sorry about this. How's that? That looks pretty good. Um, before we get started, um, again, using these lines that we have available for a free download from ladyfingersletterpress.com uh, under free downloads. Uh, if you don't have them, that's fine. You can just use uh, pen and paper. Um, my drawing tool of choice is our good old fashioned micron. Ding, 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 ding. I love those guys. Archival never lets me down uh, for at least, you know, three or four months and then they go dry and then I, I, and then I don't throw them away. I just hold on to them. Um, if you guys are interested, we do sell a little hand littering kit on our website. I don't know why I'm just showing you the computer screen. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to stop talking to you yet. Uh, hand lettering kits we have available on our website too. Uh, they include these little booklets. If you do want a physical copy, um, the class is um, basically in this book. Um, it goes through all of our, uh, oops, that's just blank paper. <laughs> There's more, I promise. Um, it goes through the lessons that we are gonna be teaching in this class. Um, serif, alphabet, sans serif, alphabet, can do some practice pages. It also includes three of my favorite pens. Um, the Micron, the Tombow, Tombow brush pen, and the Kurataki Fudogoji, which is kind of like a, a more like mild brush pen. It's got like a rubber nib, so it's not quite like brushy, but it holds like the shape a little bit better, which is kind of nice. But again, we're gonna try to put a uh, digital download of this booklet um, online somewhere. Uh, so stay tuned about that.
but that's available on our website if you want to buy a physical copy. Um, and yeah, this class is free. Enjoy it. Um, and is it backwards on your computer screen? Oh yes, I think we're gonna have to flip it. Thank you. You guys are so smart. It's a good thing I read. <laughs> Arlie, pay attention. Okay, now the question is how do I flip? Ah, here we go. Oh, hi. I'm feeding the baby. There, oh, sorry. <laughs> Can you see the screen there? Yeah, let me help you. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's continue. We have uh, our uh, A's over here. Okay, you gotta zoom in. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, let me get you set up and then I'll go bounce this guy here. Okay, you're on screen. Okay, great. So just to, hi Gio. We're doing our class again. You want to say hi? Yeah, you want to say hi to anybody? Hi, <laughs> he's shy. So I just want to go over a couple of quick basics here. Let mommy here. teach her class. Come on. Um, <laughs> you want to say hi to them? of these lines um, we are going to be drawing right from in this uh, sort of um, uh, you know within these limits of these lines um, this line here is called the baseline it's where all the letters sit this line up here oh you know what I'm gonna do let's write this baseline we did this yesterday but I just want to go over it real fast in case anyone missed it baseline mean line or X height This is the line that all of your lowercase letters go up to. So your A right there, sitting on the baseline, just like that, going up to the mean line. This guy up here is called the cap line, which consistently blows my mind because I always thought that uh, capital letters were like the tallest letters, you know? But to be honest, your uh, capital letters only go up to there. And then you ask, well, what is this crazy line for? This crazy line is called the uh, ascender line. And this is where all of your lowercase letters that have, oh no, a, whoa, uh, an ascender go up to. So lowercase b, for example. Why does I keep doing that? Um, and then, if you're wondering what this line is, you guessed it, this is the descender line. So all of your letters that, lowercase g, for example, go down to that. Um, now, as I've said before, these are just the rules. These are just the, the lines that, um, you know, are, are supposed to be there. Um, I, if you know my work, I really don't use the baseline very much. I use more of like an undulating baseline. So my baseline does, you know, stuff that's more like this, which I think is a lot more fun and a lot more organic. Um, but you sort of have to know what a baseline is in order to like say, I don't want to use you baseline. Um, it's a little, that's a little catch 22, but this is, I, maybe I should t title this class, how to be rebellious in the, in the, in the form of typography, how to be a rebel typographer. Um, so uh, yeah, so those are our names um, for the lines. And another quick uh, cheat I wanna show you guys is, um, so anytime you have a, an upstroke to the, uh, oops, sorry, oh, that's wrong. Uh, upstroke to the, or downstroke, I guess downstroke or upstroke, Whenever it's going like up to the right here, that's always going to be um, thin. Anytime you have a downstroke to the uh, going down the other side, that's going to be thick. Um, anytime you have an up and down, it's going to be thick. 
And anytime you have a crossbar, which yesterday I totally flubbed on this, but it's supposed to be thin, not thick. I don't know why I spaced yesterday and I was like, yeah, let's make it thick. And then I looked at that and I was like, why does that look funny? It was because I had been um, hanging around with uh, three tiny humans all day and I only had one cup of coffee, perhaps. Um, but uh, just to kind of go, go over yesterday, since we are going to continue with the A, um, if you guys would like to just quickly take a look at this, um, this is how we draw our um, uppercase A. So we go up to the uh, cap line, down to the baseline here. You can draw your lowercase a's in a couple of different ways. You can do it with this nice big bowl here, or you can um, give yourself a nice little teardrop terminal here. Um, let's continue with, sorry, it's okay. Morgan had to step out for a second. So if you guys asked any questions, I'm sorry, I didn't see anything. You're good, yeah? you're good. All right, um, we're gonna try to get that baby to sleep and then Morgan will be able to see some questions. So um, hold off on any questions for now, and I will let you know when uh, the baby is asleep and Morgan can kind of keep the phone and uh, we can get, get down to business. Okay, um, so uppercase A, lowercase A, and the serif. This is the serif, guys. Serif style. It's got feet. It's got the serif feet. Uh, so now we're gonna jump to a sans serif style in the, um, for the letter A. And, um, you know, I don't usually cover sans serif in my class because you could also kind of um, refer to it as like a, just print. You know, this is technically sans, sans serif because it doesn't have any serifs on it. Now it does, now this is technically a, a serif font. Um, but um, something that I like to teach when I have the time, and that was today, I hope, is um, doing something like a um, like a mono weight um, uh, lettering style, which means that all of the components, so this bar, this bar, this crossbar, they're all the same thickness. So once you draw that like outer shape, you can fill it in and then use that chance to just kind of refine it a little bit and really just try to like make it nice and smooth and consistent. Try to use your eyeballs and say to yourself, do these look like they are just like constructed out of little uh, two by fours or something. Is your goal with this for it to look super consistent? Well. Uh, that's a good question. You know, uh, for when I do sans serif, I, I like for it to be a little bit clean, a little bit uh, neat. Um, just depends on that style. Ah, oh, those stupid things are still popping up. Uh, but you know, if you if you're looking for something that looks, you know, kind of like um, '50s mo modern, like a uh, Futura. Um, you know, this would be this would be a good approach. You know, having having uh, you know this sidebar the same weight as this sidebar. Um, you can, you know, create your sans serif letter forms with a little bit more contrast, um, you know, and you make your, your, uh, oops, I don't want to do that. Um, my feet are nice and square on the bottom here. I don't know, I don't, I don't know if calling them feet is the right terminology, but that's what I'm calling them now. Um, but again, yeah, you can do some sans serif that has a little more contrast. So when I say contrast, you know, this right here is nice and thick. This right here is nice and thin. And you know, when you look at it from a distance, it just has a totally different look than, than this guy over here. Um, you can also vary these points, the, the um, sharpness of these points. So right now this is very um, uh, straight here and oops. And this is very pointy, but you can do, um, you know, you can make it kind of interesting, round it. Draw your outer shape. Um, my good friend, Jeremy Mickle, who runs a type foundry called Mickle Type, who is incredibly gifted, and one of my typography mentors has a font called Router, which um, he designed to 
sort of mimic the um, shape of a router routing it out, you know, the, the, the surface. Um, and so he, that, I like that typeface a lot where it is just kind of round and bulgy on the ends. Uh, but yeah, I mean, experiment with the way that those terminals end up. You can make them uh, round, you can make them flat, you can even do, you know, experiment and make them pointy. You know, if you want a more decorative um, typeface, if you're doing a decorative typeface, I would recommend that uh, you don't like try writing a whole like novel in it. It might be kind of hard to read and a little bit distracting, but if you're making like a logo type or um, just one uh, word or a couple of words, doing doing some you know interesting things on the ends. Um, you know, you can even add some some stuff there. I don't know, just playing around with some decorative. Uh, oh my god, I just hear the cat meowing. The toddler is chasing the cat in the other room. Um, it is a lot of fun to add some uh, decoration to your sans serif um, letter forms. So that's your letter A in, in that. Uh, I'm going to hop over to a lowercase letter A. And um, again, we're going to try to. Uh, oh, yes, Gio. Look at that chocolate egg. Oh my gosh, were you good? Yeah. You earned that. Good job. Everyone on, on uh, watching us from Instagram, let it be known that Gio earned his chocolate egg for being good. Good job, Gio. He just wants everyone to know. All right. Thank you, Gio. So when you draw your lowercase a's, you notice that it's not like a total, like perfect circle. Even though, I, even if I wanted to draw a perfect circle, I probably couldn't. That's terrible. And yeah, no. Okay. So I'm going to stop trying to draw a perfect circle. And it's good that I can't draw a perfect circle because I'm not trying to draw a perfect circle. What I am trying to do is I'm trying to create a, sh a shape that's kind of leany. You want it kind of leaning over um, to the side there. You know, it's the axis is a little uh, skewed there. And then I want to create another um, um, stem here that really interacts with this um, circular shape. Um, I don't... Yep, yeah, we're drawing some letters, bud. You want to draw some letters with us? And they look a little bit similar to me. They look very similar to you? Mm -hmm. How do they look similar to you? Because they have little um, silk, so they have little holes in them, and they would just, when they would, they, they, each of them have holes in them. Yeah. yeah. So what I want to do um, with this is I don't want to create a stem that sits like it's leaning against it. Um, and we went over this yesterday too, but you notice how these two pieces are overlapping and it looks like they're one consistent um, letter form. This one just seems like it's an egg resting against a wall or something. Um, and you don't really want that. Hey, Bob. Yeah, Gio. He calls me, he calls me bot, by, by anyway. What do you so, know? So, 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 so you you join on iPad and um Allison is um a graduate join on iPad. Yep, you can see it on the computer screen when I draw on the iPad. And I see it on here. That's right. And all of our people who are watching us on the internet are watching from the phone. It's like they're inside the phone. Isn't that crazy? Well, they're not really inside the phone. But if, but. But do you know who's inside the phone? I don't know. Who's inside the phone? Um, um, telephones, guys. Live in the telephone, um, speakers. Yeah? And, um, and, and, and sound waves. And sound waves, that's right. <laughs> and electricity. Yes, electricity. That's right. Good job, Gio. Yeah. And um, that's. And those little um, sneaky guys live in the 
Sneaky guys, sneaky live, guys in live in the phone. That's right. Okay, Gio, I'm going to go get Frankie because she's crying. Can you sit on that red chair and help Bob? Oh, my. Yeah, please sit down, honey. Do you want to sit in your desk? Okay. Gio has a little desk right next to me, so I'm going to just turn his iPad on here. And, oh, uh, that's mine? Yeah, that's... this is your iPad. I know. Do you want to watch your show? Yeah. Okay. All right, there we go, bud. All right, so to continue, we're gonna continue to draw a lowercase letter A in the same style as, where were we? This guy with a little, um, t what this is called a teardrop terminal. Ooh, where'd that go? Teardrop terminal. You can you can have a slab. I can't hear the iPad. <laughs> you can't hear the iPad? We might need to get some headphones for this guy. Okay, I'll work on that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so let's continue and basically what we're going to do is we're going to just draw our shape because really hand lettering is the art no, of no drawing three. letters. Wow. I'm drawing, I'm really loud. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I can't see it. I know. Mama told me I was being loud today too. You're not the only one. Apparently I have a problem hearing. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, uh, you know what, I'm going to go, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I'm going to show you how I did this again. Okay. I'm going to draw this shape. And then I'm going to start from in here. I want to give myself a nice little running start there. I don't want, I don't want to, um, I don't want to start right here because then again, you're having the same issues over here. You're just having things like shapes just kind of leaning against each other, which, um, oh, look at that. Millie has some headphones for you. Is that the one with the busted headphones? Um, no, I think this one works. Let's see. Yeah, this one works fine. Here's some headphones, Gia. All right, look at that. This is high tech over here. Kids got headphones. Okay. Um, yeah, so you don't want your shapes to be leaning against each other. You want them to be sort of like fluidly attached. And we're gonna just kind of create that negative space there. We're gonna fill this in. And we're going to... It's too wet. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh. Thank you, everyone, for your patience as we babysit while we um, teach our class. Someone had a question about linking the iPad to the Mac, and someone else answered for them saying it's a new Catalina update. Yeah, in Catalina, it's a thing called Sidecar. So if you attach, it's like um, it's like mirroring your display. So if you ever have hooked up to like a um, uh, projector Laptop or something, thing. yeah. <laughs> Oh, Ranky doesn't like that. Okay. Morgan is your champ. She's holding two three month old twins in her arms at the same time. I love you and I appreciate you. Oh, we all do. Um, so, yeah, you can uh, sort of craft that um, the inside of this space. This is called a counter. That's what the inside of that space is called. Sorry. script alphabet um, without any further ado we're going to use these same principles here in our script alphabet so let's come down here and I'm just gonna you know wing it and start with drawing a capital A um, and the nice thing about script alphabets is anytime you have a end point here 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 you know you are always welcome to really just extend those do it do okay, some boss. fun things yeah baby um, so why, why some people have the bath in, in outside? Why do some people have a bath outside? That's a very good question. Um, you know, maybe one day you will find that the answer for yourself. Uh, okay, so back to hand lettering. Um, yeah, anytime you have an ending or terminal is what we call them. Terminal. Terminal. And terminal is the ending of a of a side of a, of a like an arm or a leg or whatever stem you know um you can really just pull those out and do very decorative things with them so for example when i draw my letter a you know uh, an a has one two three four five opportunities to really just do something very beautiful and decorative with it so i'm going to start by um just kind of coming up being very fluid, very loose, um, and 
adding that um, piece again. So um, this was the first shape that I made. Then I came back and I added that thickness there. I'll show you one more time. Initial shape, adding the thickness, and then let's add a nice little crossbar there and fill this in. So same principles apply. You really want the thickness of that stem to be consistent. You know, if you look at it, it's a little wavy, it's a little, uh, you know, it's not perfect. Um, and that's okay because we're hand lettering and, it, and then it's, you know, it's in, yeah, understood that it's not gonna be perfect. I kinda like when it looks just a little slightly per imperfect. It shows that it has been made by hand. Um, but um, you, you, know, you definitely wanna try to keep that as consistent as possible. Um, another lesson that we went over yesterday is this idea of like um, the stem being a ribbon, right? So you have like a ribbon, right? Just a flat, long piece of ribbon. If you twist it, at one point, that ribbon gets pinched, right? Um, and if you did that in real life, it's if you turn a ribbon, it's not gonna go like that, right? So I like to apply that idea when you're uh, when you're drawing your stroke for your, um, um, you know, filling in the stroke here. You don't want that ribbon to be too thick when you're going around the curve here. What? What are you doing? Oh, cool. These are little chickadees. I love chickadees. Uh, so yeah, so you don't want your um, your um, hey, thickness. Bye. Gio, I'm going to need one more minute, um, okay? Do you need help? Yeah. Okay, hold on one second. Okay. Uh, you don't want your stem to be too thick. This just looks really clunky and uh, like you spent a little bit too much time on it. Um, Script is really about just like being very f focused and flowing and free. Um, and Am I <laughs> what's up, Gio? Why, why some, um, um, why some plugs all, all, um, why some plugs all plastic? Why are some plugs plastic? The electricity uh, inside of it. We have some very good questions here today. Um, and if anyone else here um, has any questions for Geo, you know, you're welcome to uh, ask them or if you have any answers about why people take baths outside sometimes or why some plugs are made of plastic. Um, we are, we are we're all ears over here uh, since there's no school. The every moment is a teaching moment here at uh, Lady Fingers Letter Press House Domain. Um, Camp. <sighs> on the internet and in person. Sell. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to call it these days? Uh, okay, so I know that that was probably like a lot to watch. Um, I would really encourage you to just draw a lot of um, a lot of A's in a couple different ways. Um, Someone says, do you ever thicken the downstroke of your flourishes? You know what? That is a good question. I get that asked a lot in the workshops. Um, what I usually say is that um, I tend to stay away from thickening them up just because um, I find that it sort of distracts from the actual letter. If you have a lot of flourish, if you have a lot of ornament, um, it tends to draw your eye away. It's not impossible if you, if you do it very tastefully, um, but you know, if I was drawing this uh, letter here, I would worry that someone would interpret that as like a little uh, lowercase e. So the goal with the script lettering is legibility. You really just want legibility to be your first um, your, your first goal. Ornamentation is the second secondary goal. Um, but if you feel like you really want to go ahead and thicken up your um, ornament, go right ahead. But um, I would recommend maybe making it a little bit th thinner than the thickness of your uh, main stem. Uh, but that's a very good question. Um, you can draw your A's a lot of different ways. Ah, you can draw your A's. Um, you can kind of swoop it up and have a little loop at the top. Um, you can even um, add a little doozy onto the top there. Um, also with the capital A, you have that crossbar. So if you have... Excuse me, what? Yes, Gio. So... 
You can use that crossbar as a um, continuing um, uh, continuing connector to what? another letter, like this. Excuse me, Bob. Yes, Gio. So. What's your so, question? Someone says a capital E example. Come back in a few days. Yeah, we're on the capital E day. Um, so if you're about 2.30. Yeah, 2.35, I see that. And we're still on the, letter, the stinking letter A. Um, but it, there's a lot to go over. I, I was know. really worried that yeah. we wouldn't have you know, it would just be two seconds and then it'd be over, but I guess I have a lot to talk about when it comes to letters. letters. Um, yeah, so letter E, it'll probably be, you know, 30 or 40 days from now by the time we get there. Um, but do we'll be doing this every day at two o'clock, so uh, tune in, um, and then that day's uh, lesson will be saved in the story. So, at Ladyfingers Letter Press on Instagram. So, um, yes, we will get to E's. I, I promise. <laughs> I promise you. Um, but Someone says we've got nothing but time. Don't worry. Oh, good. Yeah, no, I, I unfortunately feel the same way. Uh, time We will and... probably be all home watching you. Okay. Yay. Well, that's um, nice. I was thinking maybe this would be a good time to, like, work on, like, a stand-up comedy routine. You know, test letters. out some. Yeah, or just, you know, like, you, you know, I always thought maybe that was my missed calling. That was supposed to be a joke. Sorry, that was bad. Maybe I'm. Maybe I should stick to hand lettering. All right, let's go do the. Oh, yes. Maybe Netflix will call you for a series by the time you're done. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Um, lowercase a's. So it, lowercase a's very similar to what we were doing up here with our uh, serif a's. Um, basically, they're gonna look very similar. We're gonna draw our bowl here at a nice little axis. And when I say axis, I mean that's the sort of center of your um, letter form there. Because your um, script alphabet, you should always sort of maintain the same axis that will help with legibility. Um, and you know what I should do actually is maybe um, upload some of this practice paper that has some um, practice lines so you, you get uh, a little bit of muscle memory built up, um, practicing with um, these lines. Maybe that'll be the next um, download I will um, put up on our website. Um, but anyway, going back, um, let's keep this axis the same, and we're going to build that stem over there. We're going to kind of give it a little serif, kick it out over here, because that is going to be the... Uh, connection point with um, whatever comes next. And when it comes to connection points, there's a couple of different um, levels of those. Um, I designed a hand lettered font that I collaborated with, again, my friend Jeremy Mickle of Mickle Type, um, and I did all the hand lettering and he magically turned it into a type of little typeface because um, he's a genius. Uh, but when I did those, I you know I'd have to draw the letter A uh, like this to connect with things like a letter R. I would have to draw a letter A um, that would um, come up like this because that would be the beginning of something like a capital B. Um, I would have to draw a letter A with, let's see, if I did a, mm, I have to check my notes. There's a couple of different, sometimes you have to just be a little bit higher up and a little bit lower, but you know what, let me, let me review my notes because I feel like I'm not getting all of the information across that I want to, um, anyway, we'll, 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 we'll make sure that's in tomorrow's lesson, but anyway. Well, like my fun to know if you're already drinking. Um, you know, well, that is a very good question. Um, I'm, I'm not drinking enough. I think that's the problem. Um, okay. It, you, you can Amazon some to me, Olaf, from Iceland. I'm almost out of my Brennivin, so, um, if you could make a, like, a case delivery, that would, that would be great. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and yes, I still have a Brennivin left over from the time we went to visit you four years ago. Uh, Excuse me, bye. Yes, to you. Why some things are just like regular colors? Why are some things regular colors? Uh, 
I don't, I don't know. That's a good question. Um, so anyway, back to our lowercase a's. We're going to make one motion that includes the thickness of our contrast there. Fill that in. We're going to also overlap. You see this overlap here? Overlapping our shapes there. I'm going to fill that in. And that is our lowercase a. We're going to make our axis, maintain that axis. And um, that is our lowercase, uh, lowercase a. Let's try to shoot over to, do you think we should start b's now? Yes. Okay. All right. Where am I on my layers? Okay. So are you doing sans serif, serif, then script in that order? I did, yeah, serif, sans serif. And then script B's. Why don't you start with sans serif because it's like without, and then add add on the. Okay, so as per Morgan's request, we will start with a sans serif B. Um, we are going to start with our stem, make it nice and and uh, consistent as much as you can, and then we are going to be building out our shapes and. This is going to be our top bowl. Our top bowl is always smaller than our bottom bowl. If you made your bowls the same, you know, if, if they came up the same, uh, the same distance here, if they were the same size, you know, if I were to just copy and paste this, which I guess I have the capacity to do, but I'm not going to do right now, um, it would look like the bee is like falling over. Um, in order for the B to be very um, legible, you want to make sure that your top is smaller and the bottom is bigger. Okay. Um, I'm going to interrupt you for one second. I yeah. think i got to go put Frankie down for a nap upstairs okay. in our crib. I'm going to ask everyone to hold their questions because okay. Arlie can't see them, and I'm going to go put the baby down for a nap. Alrighty. I'm going to try. Good luck. Be right back. Make sure that swaddle is nice and tight. Yeah. All right. I'll be right back. Bye. All right, so uh, starting the bottom bowl of here, we're going to start here and then the top is going to actually come out we're going to line that up so we want to make sure our this this counter is smaller than this counter and let's go ahead and fill that in and um, all right you know what I think I'd like to do is actually make this a little bit smaller in this next one. So let's try this again. Well, you know what? Hold on one second. I just realized I have the, the nest cam up on here. I was watching the baby give. <laughs> Where's my baby? Oh my gosh. Oh dear. All right. Uh, okay, sorry guys. <laughs> Subjecting you to my the cries of my child. Let me see if this is uh, all right. So uh, lowercase b. Let's try that again. I want to make the top bowl a little bit smaller, bottom bowl a little bit bigger. You'll notice that on this one, my my angle is kind of like up a little bit. This one's a little bit more out. This one's a little bit more upwards. Um, you know, with hand lettering, you can really just kind of add as much flair as possible, and that's kind of just what I'm here to do, here for the flair. You know me. Uh, okay, so uppercase Bs, um, that's how we got them. Uh, lowercase Bs, we are going to make our stem that reaches all the way to the A sender. Make our stem nice and consistent there. You know, I'm not going to fill that in just yet. Um, so I want to show you same idea with uh, as we see over here. We want that overlap. So we're going to start our bowl and go up to the mean line or the x height and down to the baseline. And we're going to start and stop within the stem there. And we're going to try to eyeball uh, a shape that replicates the counter of the outer shape as much as possible. But you'll see that I've kind of left a little 
sort of heel there. Um, that just helps with legibility. Um, if you are following me on a computer screen, I don't know why those things pop up. Maybe you can, if anyone knows how to turn those things off, I, I'm, I would love to know how. Uh, if you're using a, following me on a computer screen, you're welcome to use your eraser to add to the, uh, to, to fix your counter a little bit. I think I went a little bit too overboard with that. Sans serif is hard because you're trying to be like a little bit more computerized. You want it to be more like a, you know, more clean. But again, you can also, yes, Geo. So, this is the Geo show. We are just guests on it. I'm gonna draw one with a little bit of contrast here. So we can draw our sans serif kind of like that. A little wobbly. Do you have a question, hon? Do you? Um, so, so why some, 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 why some um, coyotes are all in different colors? I think I don't. I'm not quite sure what show you're watching, and I don't really understand what your question is. But I will. Uh, as soon as I'm done with this, we will talk about colors when I'm finished. Okay. Um, I just realized. So this was um, uh, something with a little bit more of a higher contrast. Higher contrast. Um, and I realized I didn't do anything um, like this with the capital B. So let me do one of those. Did you get her down? She's down. All right, Morgan's back. So ask your questions away. Okay. All right, there we have a sans serif B with higher contrast. And when I mean higher contrast, I mean this is thicker, this is thinner. Um, uh, is that clear contrast? I guess I don't know how else to explain what contrast is. But when you the have, difference between the thinnest and the thickest parts. Yeah, and you can have like like way higher contrast. Um, you know, you can do something that's just very like hairline thin. You know, Ugh, this is a little clumsy, but you can see that this is the highest contrast right there. Um, so like one, two, and then three in terms of contrast. Uh, okay, so that is the sans serif. Let's do some serif Bs. We're gonna um, start with our stem. And I like to draw my serif as part of the initial stroke because it just kind of creates a more seamless, um, you know, it, it's, it's this whole idea of your, your pieces kind of um, fitting together a little bit better. Uh, you know, if I try to draw my stem and then add a serif, it just looks a little bit uh, clunkier to me. So I try to be consistent and add that serif when I'm doing it. Uh, and, then the same, and then the same idea is I'm gonna start my bowl the my top bowl actually from over here because I'm starting with my serif, I'm giving myself like a little head start, and I'm gonna lift my pen and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna stop at the end of that serif. I'm gonna come back and give myself some contrast here. Kind of uh, round out that, that serif up at the top and fill in my contrast. Ah! Um, I, I'm not, oops, I'm not, um, totally happy with the way that this ended up. I, this looks like it kind of got a little, um, like, uh, that sort of action going. So let me try drawing that B again. You guys can follow me. Your ribbon got a little yeah, wonky. My, yeah, my ribbon got wonky. There we go. And you know what? I encourage you to draw a bunch of these letters all in a row, just like fill up a whole line of um, serif Bs, lowercase, uppercase, sans serif Bs. Just really get like the, the hang of practicing them in repetition. 
and you will be surprised. Like I just tried drawing the same thing and they are so different. Um, this one has that slant thing again. This one is straight. And sometimes it just happens and it's kind of fun. And it's like this little opportunity to be like, huh, that's kind of cool. I, I kind of like how that came together. And I think maybe I would like to incorporate more of that style and more lettering. You know, um, the practice really sort of forms how you're going to move forward in your drawing. You know, you're going to develop your own styles. You're going to find your own voice. And it's only going to be coming from practicing and just drawing a um, boatload of bees on one line. Um, so going over to um, lowercase b's, we're going to start up at the top here again. I'm going to start with my serif. Notice I only have serif going off to the left-hand side. I'm going to start my bowl from within that stem. I'm going to give myself some contrast here and fill in my stems there. Maybe. Excuse me. Yes, Geo. So. So. Why does a single mm. sings go oh, oh. Making this bowl a little bit bigger, this bowl a little bit smaller. Why do things go crazy and then what? He's watching his show. He's tuned out. Okay. Um, and now we're going to finish up with the piece de resistance, the capital script B. Remember, script is different than cursive because cursive is a, um, you know, what you learn in grade school. Script is a lot more decorative. Uh, so bear with me. I'm going to do this a couple times. I'm going to start with my stem, come down, and then give my... Uh, thickness there. I'm really going to try to do it as quickly as possible and really follow up with the thickness of that stem because your hand just kind of develops this muscle memory where you do it and it's like you do it really quickly and your hand kind of just remembers the shape that it just made. So I would encourage you to really just try to um, really find your uh, find your flow when you're doing script let your hand go. Don't really try to stop and try to make it too perfect. Don't, don't, don't sit there and try to go, oh, okay, now here and here, and then where does it go? And then where does it go? Uh, you know, even if you felt like you wanted to, even if your B kind of looked like that, that's so much better than, well, actually, that looks really bad, but <laughs> just, the idea is for it to be free and flowy. Fluid. Um, fluid. Okay. So if you want to be, yeah, fluid, for lack of a better word, because what did I say? Flowy. Flowy. And free. Flowy and free, apparently. Are and fluid. And <laughs> um, um, how do you feel about pencils and erasers? Oh, good question. Um, I get that question asked a lot. Um, people say, oh, can I draw it and then trace it over? I would always say, listen, if you need to do a sketch if you need to like really figure out where things are going to be layout wise placement wise on your um on your composition do a pencil sketch of the whole thing but don't try to do a, a sketch and then try to uh tr trace it um because you're you, you'll end up being really um wonky you're never gonna fully um you're never really, it's never going to really look like the original gesture. Um, so I would say if you've done it in, in pen and you don't like it, um, do it over in pen until you like it. Um, we have a question and I have a question about the question. Okay. So someone asked, so should the top, so hot, you were hot? Yeah. I'm sorry, honey. Someone asked, should the top serif be diagonal or can it be straight? Are we talking about the serif B, capital B, or are we talking about the script? Oh, um, I hold think you're probably talking about that. Is, is that, that right? what you were talking about, um, JL straight? I have a feeling that's probably what it is. Um, this is just how I... Um, uh, lowercase serif B, yes. Yeah. Um, you, can, you can do it. Oops, what did I just do? You can do... Um, oh, oh my goodness, what's going on here? 
All right, bring it back on track. You can do your serif that comes out. Um, it's just a, a stylistic thing. I think in, in my practice, I always just have used to gun up with my um, ascender serifs. Um, it's not illegal to do a nice um, um, ascender serif like that. You're welcome to do that. I don't really like the way that looks, that bowl. But it's also like you're you're gonna develop your own language and your own like vocabulary and your own typefaces. Like Arlie has built these styles over a decade or more. So some of these little quirky things are things that are really uh, tied to the styles that you use all the time that you've developed and it's kind of like your own typefaces yeah, that you have. Yeah, just my voice that I feel comfortable with. Yeah, a voice is a good word for it. So you're gonna find your own voice and make your own voice your own voice through the typefaces so just try i mean like it there's these are just like guidelines more than there's a it always has to be like this you know mm -hmm. this is for you as a starting point mm -hmm. to kind of learn what you what you like and what you don't so um you know we don't want to see 500 people who draw like arlie now we want you yeah. to find your voice and find your way of making yeah. let lettering yeah so we have four minutes left. I'm going to race through these lowercase b's. Um, I'm going to go up to the A center line. I'm going to give myself that little stem here. I'm going to pick my pen up and I'm going to uh, jot that back, back out. Fill in the stem there. Fill in the contrast here. Um, if you had a um, like a letter O coming into a B, this is an example of where those um, connection ah. points would be different. So um, an O would come up. So your B would start a little bit higher. It wouldn't come from down there. Uh, but I will draw this B one more time. Um, another trick that I like to do is I like to come up. If you are starting from below, if you have like a letter A or an I or something before here, uh, you kind of sweep up and then you kind of jog it out come down, meet that point right there, overlap it so you can't really tell what you did there. Take your, lift your pen and draw that again. So you've kind of disjointed this connection here. You know, the idea is to make it look like that's one long line there, but what you've done is kind of dis, um, disconnected it. Um, so, lowercase b's. I, I really um, would love to draw these all day, but I just want to um, thank you guys so much for coming today and sharing this time and drawing with us. Uh, some people have mentioned um, that they would like to make a donation. Um, while it is not um, necessary, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, you can Venmo us at Arley Rose, that's just my name, A-R-L-E-Y-R-O-S-E, -E, all one word. If you want to Venmo us, if you want to PayPal us, um, we are info at ladyfingersletterpress.com. Uh, we will be here tomorrow, 2 p.m. Colorado time, MST, MDT, whatever time zone, time zone we're in in Colorado. Um, and we will be covering the letter C. Um, for Corona. C for Corona, C for COVID. Um, if you guys want to tag your work, tag it with lady fin lettering with lady fingers, and we will repost it. Um, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Do you want to see if anybody has any questions you want to answer? Uh, I have one minute. I don't. Yes. Are you like on a strict schedule here? Uh, well, it's going to end in a minute. Like a you get yes. cut off. Yes. I think we're going to say goodbye, and then if you have any questions, just DM us. Thank you. Bye. Okay. End. Really?